95.9 WATD, it's time now for more Comfort Mondays with Diane Jordan. She is the owner of Natural Body Works in Kingston. More Comfort Mondays is her Monday segment all about how to create more comfort in your body, your mind, and your soul. Diane, good morning. Good morning. Great to see you. And this week's topic, October is Spirit Month. Yeah. All right. Well, fill us in here. That makes sense, right? Mm. Yep. <laughs> okay. So it's a good time to review some interesting tidbits about spirit communication in the way I do it. As our listeners probably know from previous segments, I'm a spirit channel. This means that I receive the energy of spirit and then relay those messages to the client or in my writing. So messages from spirit are energy. I receive the energy intuitively and it's transposed into words, images, or impressions in my mind uh, or physical sensation in my body. So it works in various ways. So here are some examples. Um, I'm with a client and as we're talking ahead of beginning their session, a loved one in spirit of the client will often make themselves um, known and as a spark of light that I see, uh, usually next to the client. It's very quick, like a millisecond, and I never expect it. Um, And it's always 100% cool and delightful surprise that brings a really lovely feeling energy with it. And then sometimes I'll know it's a particular loved one, like a grandmother or something. Um, Or I'll ask the client who they have in spirit, and it will always be the first person that they think of. And then sometimes I just get like a presence in my mind and I know it's a loved one in spirit. So I'll get the relationship between the client and spirit and I'll tell them that. And then other times I'll know it's a particular spirit guide, not like a loved one in spirit, but a different guide. So pets in spirit um, Mm -hmm. will come through or a particular spirit guide. And I connect often with the archangels, the Catholic saints, the Hindu pantheon. And then the Buddha and Kuan Yin, they're guides that come in frequently. Okay. Um, And they all show up in different ways. So maybe like I'll get a physical sensation in my body that I associate with one of those guides just from experience. I know who it is. And then or I can see colors or I get an image um, or name in my mind. Mm. So all kinds of different ways. Um, And all these ways of connecting with spirit open the energy Um, So I can then receive and share their messages. So then I I always ask the client to give permission to their spiritual support to work with them through the session. Okay. So they bring in, you know, healing energy. Mm. And then when I'm channeling spirit messages, they'll usually at some point give me a really strong confirmation on a particular message or more. Um, And that is a physical sensation that I get, which is tingles that travel up and down one side of my body only, um, not like my whole body. So this is a really strong sensation for me. And it means that I need to tell the client that their spiritual support is signifying the message that I've just given them is really important. Like it has exclamation points all over it. Okay. And then um, my work has always been centered Uh, on helping clients find their way to more comfort in their body, Hmm. mind, and soul. (laughs) So the messages that I receive for clients are connected with that goal. Um, So it's not like telling their future and and things like that. Um, And they're always useful and loving messages. They help the client heal in whatever way they need most. You know, our spiritual support is always trying to help us to be more comfortable in our lives and from my perspective, it's totally cool and awesome to be able to be a channel yeah. of spiritual with spirit wisdom for comfort and empowerment for my clients. It's wow. very cool. I feel like it's so powerful when you do get confirmation from spirit about people making decisions, if they're at the precipice of a major life decision, and then you get that spirit connection. Yeah. Do, are people kind of like astounded or? Um, people are always... Well, the client feels the energy, too. So when loved ones come through and I start channeling those messages, it it comes through with such a strong mm. feeling of love. Like the client feels it, too. Totally. So um, it's always very 
very nice. Very nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. It, yeah. In, in October, the the veil is thinner. They say between both worlds. Is that is that accurate or? Yeah, because we're in Scorpio season, mm. and Scorpio is about um, um, the connection with the underworld. Totally. Really, for lack of a better, yeah. you know, it's yeah. just kind of the traditional Scorpio. But it always is. It's just. You know, we're, we Heavily can always felt. connect with spirit. Right. So. We're kind of more in tune in this month. Right. All right. To reach Diane with questions for a free phone consultation, an appointment, or a gift certificate, you can call or text Diane Natural Body Works 781 585 5130. She'll be happy to help you any way she can. And please remember to tune in next week at this time for another More Comfort Mondays with Diane Jordan. Thanks, Diane. Thank you. Have a wonderful, more comfortable week.